Today we're going to take a look at Vegas Pro 14, the upgrade from 13, the name change, company change, and whether it's worth getting. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine Think Magazine, put in a geek, and yes, I am still going through the Bell's Palsy stage, so this side is, side is still pretty much non-movement, non but keep in mind, you know, I'm going to continue to do stuff, and I hope you keep watching. Feel free to tip me, feel free to be part of the Sconey Geek Nation. Here's the deal, back in about March or April, Sony sold Vegas Pro to a company called Magix, a company from the UK. What they did was they, well, of course, they took some time to figure it out, look at the look at the product and come out with a new version. And about a month ago, a month and a half ago, they came out with Magix Pro 14, Vegas Pro 14. It's a new, I'll show you here, this is the basically the Pro 14 line. Uh, it comes with the Pro 14 Edit, which is the low end, the Vegas Pro 14, and the 14 Suite. Uh, the difference is, is it comes with a little bit more tools, some disc authoring, and, and a little bit more. So the prices start at about, uh, for Vegas Pro 14, which most people get, is about $599. And of course the suite a little bit more, the edit a little bit less. What you get is the ability to uh, to create video, uh, mix it together, put in music, uh, just like I'm doing right here with these videos. And this video is being edited in Magic's Vegas Pro uh, 14 as well. Installing it, very straightforward. Uh, as you know, if you uh, had Sony, you had you could go to the Sony Creative Software, get your serial number, download the software, and go from there. If you have the Sony software, you now have to go over to Magix to get it. Um, but you'll still be able to go to Sony Creative Software to get your serial numbers. Highly suggest that if you have some serial numbers there, get them written down somewhere else. And of course, get the latest downloads off there. With that said, uh, installed it. The install's fairly straightforward. Uh, as you can see, I, like I said, I had uh, Pro 14. With that, I got the uh, Vegas DVD Architect. I got the Pro Dad Mercalli V4. We'll talk about that in a second. And the new blue FX Tyler Pro Express. Once again, we'll talk about it in a second. second. The uh, sweet version also comes with uh, something called Boris. And uh, let's look at those programs. Now, these are these are basically add-on programs. So what that means is uh, they're not, they're, they're third-party programs that you can get upgrades to. Like, for instance, this Mercalli, uh, Mercalli V4 Cell Plus. It's basically rolling shutter, shutter. It's basically stabilization options for your uh, for your videos so you can have better videos is this, this if you're doing sports or maybe you're doing some gaming and less jittery and stuff like that then this is this is a program that you would use to help with that the Tyler Pro um, of course gives you titles and stuff like that like lower thirds and and just like in this video that you saw the little bits and pieces I have the Tyler Pro uh, so I don't use the what Vegas gives me because uh, I have got a better version, of course. And then, of course, Boris FX. This, uh, there's a lot of different uh, products in the Boris line, and uh, it gives you some uh, great some plugins. And of course, some of these will also cross over. So if you also use Adobe uh, products, you'll be able to use the Boris suite in here. This, these are the things that you will have uh, when you uh, download it and install it. So let's look at some of the features that a Vegas Pro 14 has. And of course it says that you can do unlimited video tracks. You can do stereoscopic 3D. You have the Bezier tool masking. It's got 390 different video effects. Of course you can add many more through third party companies. 24-bit, uh, 192 kilohertz. I really wish it would go to 32, but 24, not too bad. Uh, it runs v VST2 effects and I have a few older audio effects that I bring in with me and uh, they've uh, they came in no problem just fine and then we had uh, video capture HEVC file editing um, it supports native ProRes uh, you can also uh, do some inputs such as Blackmagic Design HD Extreme Intensity Pro support and of course the smart render now the smart render being with the uh, with the, the type of graphics card you had some people do have some problems when it came to rendering using the CUDA. I use OpenCL since I have an AMD computer, but of course it'll really depend on what you have for your machine uh, in your rendering. 
All right, with that, let's show you the differences between 13 and 14. And the best way to do it is to actually show you. So here we go, let's bring it up. Now what we have here is my band and, and we, I decided to create some videos from that, do some post-processing. So what we have here in 13, as you can see, we got the timeline, we've got the uh, viewer area, we've got the explorer area, and of course, uh, where your project media, all your video effects, media generators, so on and so forth. Let's move over to 14, you're gonna see the difference here. Um, 14, the buttons are the biggest difference. As you can see, they are more flat graphics than what 13 had, um, but everything is exactly in the same place. All right, so, so as you can see, you have your timeline, you have your Explorer, your project media, you have the, uh, the cutting area for uh, stuff you wanna do a little bit more splicing on, and of course the, the preview area, and, a, and then of course your, air, uh, your master area. What I would have liked to have seen Magic's uh, Vegas do is have these buttons resizable. In a lot of people's setups now, they includes a touch screen. And with Movie Maker Pro or Movie Maker that Sony put out, they had a more touch screen, uh, larger button touch screen option. With Vegas Pro 14, I don't see one. But of course, if you go to the view, you can change your Windows layouts just like you do with, uh, with that. We can do the default layout. We can go for audio mixing if we wanted to. We can go back into the window and uh, we can go back to layout. We can go for color correction. And of course we can save our different layouts and, and go from there. We can, uh, we can actually bring in other windows and stuff like that. All right, uh, once again, going back to 13, there's 13 right there, here's 14. Um, everything else, we got the render uh, in, in the exact same place. We'll, we'll hit the render as. The, the good thing about this is it brought over all my render settings uh, that I set up um, for a video like YouTube's HD 720, uh, my 60 frame, five megabytes uh, pass, all that came over. I just had to re-favorite them. But here's the thing. There are three main reasons that you upgrade software. One, to fix bugs. Two, to get better render. And three, to get better overall picture, the, the actual look of the video. I did some rendering, I did some different projects, everything from a 720 video all the way up to 4K video. I even did a couple of my 360 videos, which you can definitely do post-processing of 360 videos inside of Vegas, but you still have to put in the metadata to turn them into 360 videos, but it can be done. And of course the thing is, I didn't see any difference in how they rendered. In fact, I did the, the render of that video right there. I'll show you the results right here. So basically, in about 17, about 17 minutes, 17 and a half minutes, I was able to render, and this is both uh, in the thir uh, version 13 and version 14. So you're not saving any time on the render. And, and then of course, you have the quality of the video. And I went through the quality of the video, tried to look at it as best as possible. I didn't see much of a difference of the quality of video between 13 and 14. So ultimately, this is my recommendation if you're gonna stick with Vegas Pro. You might want to do the upgrade, but it's not gonna give you any real new features. Yeah, you can get some of the third-party stuff, which is great, but some of them, uh, some of these third-party companies offer that off to the side anyway. So you'll be able to get a download version of that and put that into your 13 as well as your 14. 14 will get updated, 13 will not. Simple as that. So if there are up continued updates to, uh, to Vegas, it, you gotta get 14. Overall, between 13 and 14, it kind of felt like they just put in some new icons and they were done. Might have been some stuff behind the scenes I still haven't found yet, um, but uh, from the looks of it, it, it works exactly like 13 does. So you are paying for something that does almost exactly the same thing. Now, with some updates, maybe that will change. Maybe the quality will get a little bit better. Um, and I'm hoping that they'll put out some updates to do some of the bug fixes that 13 did have including some of the render stuff like some of you have talked about with the uh, graphics cards. If you are getting into it and gonna purchase uh, Vegas Pro 14, I highly recommend it. It's a great program and it compares really well to some of these other video editing programs out there. Of course, it's all Windows based. So if you've got a Mac, uh, you don't have that, uh, that same option. But if you're in a Windows world, it's great. It's a great program. I've used it for years.
and I continue to use it because it's, it's, it's a solid program. If you see some differences, let me know so uh, next video I can talk about that. And of course, I'll be doing some tutorials in the future for Vegas Pro 14. And of course, if you want to get Vegas Pro 14, all you have to do, go to geekazine.com forward slash Vegas Pro. That is a link, an affiliate link. So I uh, keep the lights running, keep these videos going, and I appreciate it much. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. And hopefully the Bell's Palsy will clear, have cleared up a little bit better. Until then, you guys geek out and take care.